11 biggest animal herds. Number 11. Looking at this picture might give you a case of pink eye. These flamingos gathered in Kenya, East Africa, actually constitute a flock or a stand or a flamboyance, depending on your source, but we'll give them a one-time herd status just because they create such an amazing spectacle. They must really believe there's safety in numbers. Number 10. Can you tell it's a herd of hippos? These hippos were hungry for the dry season to finally end at Zambia's Luangwa National Park in Africa, so they crash the pool all at once from the looks of it. When they're near rivers or lakes, they can spend up to 16 hours a day submerged. Did you know the Greeks actually named these animals the river horse? Number nine. Cobb antelope. In 2007, scientists discovered what they believed was one of the biggest animal migrations on Earth. Southern Sudan was the location of vast herds of antelope and gazelle migrating through a region thought to have been stripped of its wildlife by civil wars that raged for 20 years. But an abundance of antelope, the white-eared cob in particular, was found to number some 800,000 in the region. Overall, an aerial survey revealed the existence of over a million antelope elephants, ostrich, gazelle, and other creatures. Now, cob antelope are also known for migrating. Columns of these antelope can stretch some 50 miles long and 30 miles across. They actually rival the better-known migration of the Serengeti's wildebeest for putting on the greatest show on Earth. Number 8. Really massive toothpicks. Well, that's kind of what those tusks look like. Before you realize they're attached to a huge herd of Pacific walruses. Or is that a herd of huge Pacific walruses? At any rate, these animals inhabit northern waters off Alaska and Russia. They seasonally migrate from the southern habitat in the Bering Sea, where they're often found on the pack ice in the winter. During their migration north in the spring, females give birth to calves. Number seven, reindeer games. Ever wonder where Santa Claus gets his reindeer? Chances are it's Bavanenkovo Field on Russia's Yamal Peninsula, which is rich in natural gas and oil. This area is home to more than 300,000 of the animals and comprises the world's largest domestic reindeer population. Around 20% belong to three municipal reindeer herding enterprises, while the others belong to private herders and communities of indigenous peoples known as Nenets. Their way of life might be threatened by expansion of the gas and oil industry, which causes reindeer pastures to shrink and the area to become overgrazed. Despite attempted conservation efforts by local energy companies, the nomadic reindeer herders face additional challenges from global warming and climate change. Number six, zebras. Now these animals are sometimes referred to as common zebras, but the striped patterns make for an uncommon viewing experience. In fact, if you look at the herd long enough, you'd almost think those stripes were moving. Actually, a common zebra is a plains zebra, the most abundant of the three species and the smallest. The other species are gravies zebras and mountain zebras. And those stripes serve more purpose than just decoration. It's thought the animals use them as a form of so-called motion dazzle to confuse predators. As animals in the herd of zebras stand close together, it may appear as one huge flickering mass of stripes, making it more difficult for predators such as lions to pinpoint a target. Number five. Horsing around. Huge herds of horses charged across the plains of western China in 2014. Maybe the animals were celebrating the year of the horse. The horses do look majestic as they gallop through the snowy plains and grasslands of the Tian Shan Mountains. Nomadic tribes have historically lived in Central Asia Xinjiang province, which shares borders with Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan. Local people use the semi-wild horses as a source of meat and milk which is the basis of a fermented drink. Once properly trained, the animals are used as mounts and beasts of burden. So how did you celebrate the year of the horse? Number four, a herd of Herdwick sheep. To be honest, we're including these animals 
mostly for the play on words their name affords. They're found mainly in Cumbria, in northwest England, and are one of the hardiest breed of sheep, able to withstand harsh weather and higher altitudes. And their wool is apparently edible, at least for Herdwick sheep. They've been known to survive for three days under a blanket of snow by eating their own wool. Does that qualify as self-cannibalism? While these animals are often referred to as a flock of sheep, the terms drove of sheep or herd of sheep are also acceptable. But did you know that a really big group of sheep is called a band or a mob? Now that just might give these little animals a little bit more street cred. Where do you think this mob of sheep might be going? They do look pretty serious. Number three. In 2014, a viral video of bison running through Yellowstone National Park triggered rumors that an earthquake was about to hit. And then, two weeks later, an earthquake really did shake up the Yellowstone area. But the two events were not connected. Bison, also known as buffalo, just like to run for the heck of it. Although, the sight of them charging down a two-lane highway is understandably upsetting. More classic stampedes, like the one seen in Paul Horstead's photo, are usually set off by the animals seeking to escape predators, like wolves or grizzly bears. We can't tell what the animals in the picture are running away from, or toward, but the herd can reach speeds of up to 32 miles per hour, faster than a wolf. Of course, those stampedes happened more often in the past, when more bison roamed the plains. 31 million of the animals were slaughtered by fur traders and hunters, and by the 1890s, only 750 remained. But conservation efforts have helped the bison population rebound, and today they number around 350,000 individuals. Number two. Wild, wild wildebeest. Want to see an epic display of nature that covers 150,000 square miles of wilderness? Well, look no further than the Great Serengeti Migration of Wildebeest, often called the greatest show on Earth. It's an annual event, and it follows a fairly predictable pattern. Approximately one and a half million wildebeest migrate throughout the year in search of fresh grazing and better quality water. Timing of the Serengeti wildebeest migration depends on the yearly pattern of rainfall. After short rains start in November, the herd will stay and feed on fresh grasses until the following March, after most wildebeest calves are born. By May, the Serengeti wildebeest head north. As they search for fresh water and grazing, they're joined by moving columns containing hundreds of thousands of animals, including zebra and gazelles. June through August finds the animals temporarily stopping at the south side of the crocodile-infested Rometai River, where the herd frantically crosses the Mara River, which flows from Kenya's Masai Mara Game Reserve. October finds the wildebeest herds migrating back to the southern Serengeti and the short grass plains, where the whole 1,200-mile adventure will start all over again. Did you know wildebeest can run up to 50 miles per hour? Number one. Talk about a thundering herd. These African Cape Buffalo make for an impressive sight and a fearsome sight as they charge through Botswana on what would appear to be a very dry time of year. These animals are known for their aggressiveness and have reportedly killed more hunters in Africa than any other animal. They're known to kill or gore more than 200 people each year. 